Hello and welcome back to Fem Design Video Lessons. In this video, you will learn how to use view functions in Fem Design software. You can find all the view functions here, or you can find most of them from this toolbar, which you can place wherever you want in the software. Let's start from the bottom. Uh, here we have shading with edges. We have shading. We have hidden line and we have wireframe. As you can see, all the options uh, make objects appear differently in the model. And fifth, we have physical view. By putting on the physical view, you can actually see the real boundaries of all objects and not only the analytical model inside them. Next, we have transparency. With transparency tool, you can alternate the transparency of your objects. Let's say I want uh, this wall to be more transparent than others. I can simply increase the transparency here and click the wall. And when I close this, you can see compared to other walls, that wall is transparent. I can easily uh, make everything back to normal by putting transparency to zero and clicking all. You can of course use this all to make everything transparent also. Now let's move to hide and show function where you can either hide, show or flip hidden and shown objects or select visible objects by filter dialog, which is same that you can find from here. And here you have also the all button to hide everything from the model or show everything in the model. So let's try hiding. Now you can see that those bars are fully disappeared. And if I want to show everything at once, I can always just click show and all. Next, you have option to move between previews and next view. Let's say that we, we move from our 3D model to 2D view. And now we can easily, if we want to come back to 3D view, we can just click here and we are here. And we can, of course, use this as many times as needed. And also one thing you can, as you, as you can see, whenever I move my pointer over these functions, you can see the short keys to those functions. So you don't always have to click, click on these buttons when using these. Next, we have story scroll. So we can go story by story, up and down. And you get this error message when there is no next story to be found. And we can always easily get back to 3D view, pressing this function here. And when we have made axes and stories to our model, we can easily move around those axes because FemDesign will automatically make you views on those axes and stories. For example, if I want to move to axis one, I can see that my grid line is now based on axis one and I click here again and I'm in a 3D view. Of course you can make views of your own. Let's say we want to make a view based on this wall or the line that the wall is based. So I check here object plane and I press here and now I have a view based on that wall. And if I want to save that view, I can always go here. I actually have one example already here, so I delete that. And now I just make a new view called example, add here, close. And when I want to move into that view, again, I can find it from user defined views. And of course you can move around in your 3D view by using these tools. Here is space view, east view, south view, and plain view. These are really easy to use when you use the short keys. Let's say Alt F1, Alt F2, 
and Alt F3. And then you have Orbit, which is kind of same than pressing Control and scroll down, but you can do it with the left button of your mouse by using this function. Then what you have left is zoom in if you have a big model and you want to make quickly zoom into there, you can do that. And then you have zoom mar margin, which will automatically uh, fit your view according to total or the whole model you have there. And for the last, you will have a user co-coordinate system where you can set your co-coordinate system to be somewhere else than it is not originally. Let's just say I want my coordinate system for this time. I want it to be in the end of this column. So when I click it, now I can see that my grid has moved in the top of the column. And if I snap with the raster on this grid, it is not in the zero level level that it used to be. And I can also easily return it or reset to the global coordinate system. Okay, here is all about this few functions. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.